Hello friends, welcome to Alto Pixels. If you like our channel, please like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. This is a 22 inch, 28 inch Sony LED TV. The complaint is vertical bars and lines. Here you can see the vertical lines on the screen. This is mainly because of the VGH voltage missing in the side cuff. This is a common complaint in, uh, in this panel. It's a common uh, defect in this panel. This is a 28 inch BOE panel. Here the TV is repaired due to lighting and repairs the original motherboard and installed the combo board in 2020. Now the complaint is with the panel. Here you can see this is a BOE panel. Here you see a BOE panel. Here you can see a beyond point. This is the VGH voltage test point. So we need to bypass the VGH point from the uh, VGH voltage from this point to the side cuff of the panel. By the experience. Without checking and measuring any voltages, I am sure that this is the uh, complaint with the side cuff VGH voltage is missing because this complaint is common in this model 28 inch panel. So this is the side cuff. Now we remove the front cover. This is the side cuff. Here you can see the model number of the side cuff is 8656F CY50. Here you can see the data sheet on the left side of the screen. That is this is the VGH point. Here you can see the data sheet in the screen. I will show you in detail by zooming this uh, data sheet. This is the data sheet. So now we need to uh, remove the installation from the VGH point test point. So here we the installation from the VGH test point is removed. Here you can see now we soldered a copper wire from the VGH point to the solder uh, uh, VGH point in this uh, side cuff. Here you can see the wire is soldered. Now we need to connect the another end to the V on point in the scalar PCB. See now the copper wire is soldered on the uh, the another point is soldered on the V on V on point which is the VGH voltage point. On the scalar PCB, and then the wire is copper wire is in double insulated with a double side tape properly and fix fixed properly without touching other components. Now let us connect the LVDS cable and connect the motherboard back to the TV. With we can see the copper wire is soldered on the beyond point. Now everything is set up. Now uh, the LVDS cable, all connections are connected properly. Now let's power on the TV and check whether the TV is working or not. Here, because of lightning, we already replaced the motherboard with the uh, universal 24-inch LED combo board in 2020. Now the complaint is the panel. So let's power on the TV and check whether the complaint is solved or not. As here you can see, now the TV is working fine. And the display is perfect. So, finally, after putting all back covers back to the TV and all screws are uh, connected properly, now finally, let's turn on the TV. Now, everything is done. Now, repairing successfully done. The screen is perfectly okay. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.